Hi, I'm Nada Mylean. My friend Nicole, she plays the saxophone. She wanted me to make her out of balloons. She's a few days old, but this is Nicole. Hi, everybody. She had her hair went a little fly away. The balloons, they do that after a few days. They deflate. We're going to make another Nicole. This is her saxophone. Nicole's a saxophone player. So the first thing I did is I created the hat and her head. So you inflate a round five inch balloon, white, or the color of your hat. My sax player is going to wear a hat. You only need to inflate the balloon half the blush 260 balloon halfway. You can see my lovely couch back there. Move that just a little bit there. This is my overflow, my extra balloons. I'm going to need my orange marker and my black marker and pink and white markers. All right, now that I have this, we're going to create the head. I have a blush six inch quick link and a white six inch quick link. It's best to inflate them all the way and then release some air. That makes them nice, soft, and squishy. Now, when working with quick links, they highly recommend that you tie nozzle to tail. That's what makes quick links special is they have a nozzle and they have a tail, so you can tie them together. You don't want to drop, tie nozzle to nozzle or tail to tail. Tied these together. I'm now going to take the 260 balloon. It's going to want to slide here to the side just because there's space there. It's okay to pull it down to the side and then roll it and guide it to its halfway point. Now we want to put on the hair. So you take your 160 yellow. Inflate them with a four finger tail. I hear. Ah, I heard air leaking out of the balloon. It's Nicole number one deflating. Okay. So I'm going to, she has long hair. So I started by looking at a picture of Nicole. One pinch twist, and I put this pinch twist around that joint there. And then I can go down, twist it up, and go back up. Her bangs fall to the side a little bit, so I'm going to put a spacer bubble, go over the long length of her hair to this side. Pull that around, and this is a good time to put a pinch twist here at this end. Now you get a second 160. You can always add air to a balloon. So I have a nice hands width tail. Again, you measure how long the hair is. Go down. Go up. Wrap 
put around this joint. Give us a piece, check that out. Now this one I'm going under, and then I'm going to pull the tail around this pinch twist. So I have hair moving around in different layers. Now I need to put her hat on. So the round ball, and this is the back of her hat. You want to get as much length out of your balloon. So I grab and I pull and slide it through my hands and give a tug. That actually lengthens it. I'm going to create a pinch twist at the end. I'm going to put it here at the back of the head and wrap the balloon around once. And then go down pinch twist once. Then I'm going to twist a bubble as a spacer bubble between these two layers. Do a pinch twist again. This has moved the air up the shaft of the balloon. This area has not been squeezed and stretched. So you can pull and make that even longer. And we go around one more time. And that's how I make her hat. Style by Pernisha Brunel on Hugh Corner Convention. That's an online balloon convention that came into existence during the whole shutdown. Now, you see how her hairs all fly away? It's all flying in different directions. Two things you can do. One, glue dot. You can glue dot all three of these together. If you don't have any glue dots, you just need a scrap of yellow with the air pulled out. You go around the three pieces of hair and tie them together and then just snip the extra rabbit ears off. Ah, there's my scissors. Now we're going to do the same to the other side. Always save your scraps. I have a scrap bag here with a whole bunch of drawers. I put a, a different bag for each color so it's easy to find a scrap when I need it. These balloons are made from the sap of the rubber tree. They are a natural, renewable product. The Mar Balloons had their balloons tested and proved that their latex, 100% natural latex balloons, are approved by the European environmentalist people. Now, she has, in the picture, Nicole was wearing a, a summer shirt. So, I do two pinch twists here, and now we're going to put on her shirt and pants. I've seen this a lot before, but like I said, I've been watching a lot of Shanna Sharp videos lately. If you haven't seen Shanna Sharp, you should find her on YouTube, but also a crowdcast. She does balloon requests live three times a week. She's entertaining as all get out and very inspiring to me. And so I, I use a lot of techniques that I saw her use because they're awesome. They're great. You should tune in for sure and check out her channel. You'll learn a lot too, besides also being highly entertained. <laughs> wow, that really was a good pop. It vibrated this balloon.
Okay, gotta reach in and get another blue one. Sometimes balloons just blow. <laughs> now remember, just because these are made from the sap of the rubber tree and are made nat with natural products, doesn't mean you should throw them on the ground. They look trashy. Make sure you dispose of your balloons properly in the trash can so they can get into the landfill, get buried, and let nature take its course and let microbes and other decomposers decompose the balloon. But balloons are not edible. Don't leave them on the ground for plants and animals to eat. Though I haven't found too many instances, any instances where animals have died. Though some people make claims that that has happened, but they are choking hazard. Balloon inhalation is real, it does exist. If you are near a balloon and your mouth is open and it pops and you breathe in, a piece of balloon can go down your throat. That's why balloons are a choking hazard for kids eight and younger. So if you're playing with your balloons, play safe. If you have young siblings, get them off the floor. It's not the pop balloon on the floor that's as dangerous as the balloon popping near their mouth when they breathe it in. So everyone, I want you to play safe and be good with your balloons. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I didn't explain it, I was talking, but I basically, you just do, get the blue, do two loops, do a pinch twist, and then I wrapped it around the pink balloon. And now I grab the knot of the pink balloon and I pull it around one of the pinch twists like that. Now I can break this balloon off and tie it. This is her shirt and these are her nipple pants. Roll this around a time or two. Now I'm going to break this off. No secret to it. I dig my fingers in and I pull at the same time and I do it very fast. All right. Now I, I, I lost my pinch twist. Well, here's a little trick. I'm going to try to get pinch twist back. I isolate a bubble and I'm going to try to pinch twist back. And then I'm going to try to get this loop. Wrap that around there. Sometimes you can save a popped loop, popped area like that. You can open up these loops a little bit and tuck this in to kind of make it look a little more flat. Now we're going to do hands. So we're going to put 160 blush. All right. The hand that is the lowest part that's going to hold the bottom part of the sacks. I leave a two inch bubble and then I do a little loop twist and then I take this bubble and I try to roll it through. When you roll it something through, I'm pushing in and I'm grabbing the side and I'm rolling the sides off and around to lock twist that. So that's the first hand. Now I'm going to make the elbow by folding Pinch all the air out, twist and pull out, and that gives a nice sharp bend in the arm. And then I roll it into this pinch twist. Go around. And now we're going to, I'm going to do it her arm pointing down and now this 
is the part that's going to hold the top of the sacks. So I'm going to do a tiny pinch twist. And I'm going to do a three finger pinch twist. A loop twist, actually. When you cut this off, let it be long. This is how you're going to attach it to the sacks. Now, she has sleeves. I inflated my pink balloon halfway. I'm going to make it longer and narrower by grabbing and pulling. Now I'm going to wrap that nozzle in. I have a figure eight under one, over the other arm, down, under, back over the other arm. I'm going to make two loops, but I'm going to try to arrange it so the bottom of the loop starts underneath the arm. Measure, roll, tuck it through to the other side, go around, pinch twist. Make it narrow as I can. Pull this loop around the arm. Push it into the pinch twist and then squeeze it smaller and roll it so it naturally wants to walk around that joint once or twice. Then you can break that off, save it. the head. The hands are all ready. The pinch twist should go towards the back of your doll, of your Nicole doll. Now before I do the sacks, we should do the face. When I did the face, I used a lot of orange. Nicole wears glasses. So first I did a loop for the the bridge of the glasses. And when you're doing balloons, think cartoon. So there's the glasses. And then her eyebrows. You could do her nose. You could give a hint of her eye. She has a wonderful smile. Her smile is really big. She's a fantastic lady. Put a little C for laugh lines. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue. I couldn't find my light blue, so. Light blue, and then the shine of her eye. And now I'm going to finish the eye. She has eyelashes. Nicole is a girl. And then this part, I'm just drawing in dark the parts that's the eye. The glasses, I'm leaving orange. And now I am filling in on the inside of the eye, her pupil. I don't know what color Nicole's eyes are. They might be blue, they might be brown. I never did ask. Darken that nose just a little bit. Darken the smile. That's black. Now I'm going to take pink and I'm going to give her lipstick. So I start here in the center and I lift it up and then I match to the corner of the mouth. And then I fill in. 
and I'm gonna co go over the black marker. The black marker will actually pick up and darken that even more. And now we're going to do on the bottom of the lip. Narrow on the sides, go a little wider on the bottom, and narrow on the sides again. To make the face look really stunning, you then take your white marker. I like to use Sharpie, but another better one than Sharpie is Eddings. Eddings dries faster. Let's see. Now I need to check. Is, is it the paint coming out? Yep, paint's coming out. All right. So you just want to fill in the white of the eye and the shine of her eye. Try not to touch the marker with the white, or else the marker will actually bleed and pick up part of the uh, marker. Sharpie marker will blend with your Sharpie marker. There's Nicole's face. I almost forgot, where did I put that orange marker? Oh, there it is. Take the orange and you want to make the stripes. The shirt she was wearing was orange and pink stripe, very summer looking. So I took my orange marker and I just made stripes on the pink. And I did some stripes. Here on the loop twist, you don't need to do the whole loop twist. I don't do the back, just the front. If you want to be thorough, you can do the back too. Now we need her instrument. But first, we need to hang the instrument. So to make the carrying straps, I pinch the tip of my balloon and I pull all the air out to the end. And I try to make sure this part is straight. I go around her neck. And I put the two ends together and I tie a knot. After I have that knot tied, and I make sure that knot does not roll by pulling it in several different directions, I cut off the nozzle and the tip. The second balloon, you can use black or you can use chocolate. This is 260Q chocolate. Tie that out. This one's going to be tricky, so I went ahead and tied the knot, creating a vacuum, which turns this balloon into a giant rubber band. I'm going to wrap it around where the knot is on the balloon. I just tied it around the pole's neck. And I'm going to tie two knots. So I'm going to try to get all the knots to tie right at that one point, just so it looks more neat. So it looks neat and professional. We want to make it look like a musician. going to do your saxophone. You can make a one balloon saxophone, but when you use two balloons, it makes that one saxophone look a little bit larger, and you don't need a lot. You need a mouthpiece, so you try to make the end pointed. And then you do two small pinch twists. Make sure that you roll that knot and it's not going to slide, and then cut it. Now we're going to inflate our 260Q chrome gold.
only halfway. There's going to be a lot of twists in this. Now I'm going to grab the knot, push it into the joint of those two pinch twists, and I'm going to go around. Now I can break off the chocolate. Try that as well. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to go three fingers, three tiny fingers, and then do a tiny pinch twist. This is the top bend of our set. Now we're going to go down another two fingers, do two small pinch twists. Go down just a little bit more. I'm thinking this sack is going to turn, is turning out just a little big. So I'm going to make these can be the same size. Two pinch twists here. If you want to make the scale look more small to big, just make the pinch twist smaller, and then the next set a little bit bigger. And now uh, the final third set of double pinch twists. You can do them individually like I'm doing right now, or you can do two at the same time. Now the next part, we're doing the bell of the sack. So I see where I want the bell. And this is where I do a pinch twist, a spacer bubble, a pinch twist, tiny pinch twist. You can grab and pull, try to get a little more length out of this, and wrap it around. I ended up with a little teeny tiny bubble left over. That's okay, I'm not gonna pop it. It's small enough that it won't interrupt the design. Now I just need a scrap balloon to hold it in place. But since I'm connecting the saxophone to Nicole, I'm going to use this long balloon on Nicole's hand. This hand is going to connect to these bottom pinch clips. Pull the bell of the saxophone up and wrap this around the two pinch twists of the bell. And then back to the two pinch twists. Give it a pull and let go. And if, you, if it's not too long, it'll suck right in. So there's Nicole holding one end of her sax. Now she's getting ready to play her sax, so we're going to get her other hand that has the long thumb sticking out. And we're going to put this on the top set of double pinch twists. And there you go. Nicole is all ready to serenade you. Nicole also has a YouTube channel. And she performs her balloons. And yes, she, Nicole is a balloon twister. She does balloons on her channel. And she plays her saxophone. Tune into her channel and tell her how amazing she is in and out of balloons. Bye!